right, so for this week, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a really fun little camera or video game or TV um, from an Instagram artist called Piggy Steps and Art Studio. So these are a few images of what she has made. Um, this camera here is super fun. It has the little um, flash on the top. And then how it's going to work, there's gonna be a little strip that runs through that you can pull to make the pictures appear in the center of the camera. There's different types of cameras. There's different images you can draw. You can even do a little Polaroid if you want to with the little Polaroid pictures coming out, um, a video game, even the TV is fun. So I have already picked what I wanted. I picked a TV and I picked a camera and then I made a pull tab and let me show you how it works. So I made this one. This is my little Polaroid camera. Um, so you start with the bottom and the paper strip gets pulled through and as you can see, it's, it's sheep. So I just start pulling, and as I pull, the little pictures appear in the center of the camera. And there's one kind of hanging out in the sun, one just standing, and you can add color, you can leave them black and white. And there's my last one. So to start, we're gonna draw, and you can draw whatever kind of camera or video game, if you wanna draw um, a switch or um, any sort of game that you play, you can do that as well. So I drew two things you can just draw one and I'm gonna I drew my pull tab and I draw them and I color them so you can sharpie them you can do whatever you want with it and I have two pieces of paper there's one in the back just a plain piece and the top one so after you get them drawn you're going to cut out you cutting through both pieces of paper the plain paper behind it and then your picture in the front so holding them together like a sandwich you're gonna cut out your two pieces so keep cutting. So that should give you a front. That should give you a front and then also a back piece, All right? So now the next step is going to be to cut out the center. You're going to just fold, make a snip, and then you're gonna get your scissors in and cut that out. Once we cut out the center of your camera or your TV or whatever you're going to make, and we have our front and back pieces with the middle cut out, we're gonna take a separate piece of paper And we're going to make the paper strip that goes through. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on top. And I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to kind of mark both sides so I know how wide to cut my strip to go through. So that's how wide the screen is on the inside. So we need to go a little bit past that. Hopefully you can see my marks. Just so that it doesn't fall through when we um, pull it. So that's how wide I'm gonna make my strip. So now we're gonna cut straight up to make a strip that's wide enough that's going to go behind the TV. Okay, once you get the strip cut to go on the inside, what I like to do is flip your camera or your TV over. I like to put the paper strip where it's going to exactly go. You wanna make sure you don't see anything where the, where the hole is for the center of the camera or the TV. And you don't wanna to get too close to the edge because you have to have the back piece to stick to it. So as you can see on mine, you can't see the strip because the back piece is what keeps it in place. So make sure you have enough space. I like to kind of leave it on here while I'm gluing so I know where to glue. I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue. You can use glue stick or regular glue. Not too much, you got a little bit too much on there. Um, you don't wanna get it on the paper strip. The paper strip should be not glued down at all. And then I'm gonna glue on the opposite side, okay? But not near the paper strip, because it should move freely. Then we're going to put the backing on top, sandwiching the two pieces together, but leaving that space open so that your strip can pull through, through the um, game or the camera that you're making. All right, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna take this out. Okay, and let that dry. And now you can start working on your pictures. And what I like to kind of do um, is just kind of know that, you know, a picture has to go probably here, and then the next one will go here. And you can mark where the space is for where your pictures go down your um, paper strip. All right, so now to start your image. All right, I am working on my pictures. So I have decided to show an alien invasion for mine. So, um, but to make each box, I could like to put my paper strip on and just mark where the top would be um, of the frame and then the bottom. So you know how big 
to make your pictures. And I slide it to the side to see that, yes, that does fit in there really nicely. So that's how you start to make the sizes of your boxes to go inside your, um, either inside of your circle or inside of your square on your game or your picture. So I did want to share as I color, I'm coloring like a comic book strip. So I just kind of work my way through. Um, I'm using colored pencils. You can use markers, crayons. You could leave it black and white and just do shading. It's really up to you. So I'm kind of working my way through each piece. So it's kind of like a little comic book strip. All right, so the last and final thing is to make your pull tab. Um, you can either put it above or glue it under. And I'm gonna do mine at the top because it's where my story starts. So I'm gonna do mine under. And that should work there. And then we're going to insert the pull tab and your slide, your images, right through your object that you made. Okay, good, good, good. And then what you have then is your fun, let that dry for a few minutes, and you have your fun project. So there's my TV screen, and then this one's the alien invasion. There it is, there's my little cow. There's my alien landing on Earth, and then there's the cow and alien going back into space. So really fun, it's exciting. So now I'm going to um, have, do something fun with this. I'm gonna use a app called Stop Motion, which I have on my phone, and I'm gonna make a stop motion video of my TV actually working. So if that's something you wanna do for extra, you certainly can. Moo, let's go.